Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, Ye Do Err, Not Knowing the Scriptures. Lord, will you are edified. This video was inspired by a video the Zaquan of Baltimore did, and his page is Biblical Defenders. And his video is entitled, Response Evil Hebrew Israelite Doctrine. According to thus saith the Lord. So pretty much, if you guys didn't know, and you know, guys, I hate talking about this group of this group of people, but they preach that, and I hate to say it, but if you're if you're black, you're you're a Israelite. That's what uh, you're a Hebrew Israelite. This is what they claim, and I'm looking at it like, look. Key point. I'm looking at it like, look. Isaiah 55 and verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh. Enough said. Unless I knew that I was a Jew, I will not claim to be something that I'm not. I know because of just looking at it from past DNA tests. And this is the reason why our people are classified as the lost sheep. Matthew 10 and 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies and the land which thou knowest not for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever okay key point and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage and what happened within this process Matthew 10 and 6. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And this guy is lost. Okay. Particularly my mom. I know for a fact that half my side, on my mother's side, our origin from my mother's side is based out of West Africa. But not that that matters to me because I live in America. And just because I live in America doesn't mean I'm not interested in knowing what my past people were. But the point is, half of me is half African. And I'm pretty sure my father, who is... And there is no such thing as half of me. Numbers. One in eighteen. Let's start at verse seventeen. And Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees. All right. And another term for pedigrees is your ancestry. Okay. After their families by the house of their fathers. Okay. Your father dictates your nationality, point blank period, by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. A black man, his origins are from there too. So when you have you know, African Americans going out claiming that, why are you, why are you calling yourself African American? You're not African, you're Jewish. And I have a hard time accepting that. 
And at one point, I have a hard time. And again, Isaiah 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord Yahweh. When I started to accept it, and I realized if I accept this, this means that I can literally go out into the world and start telling people that are not my skin color that you're not going to heaven because of the things, you, the, ca the captivity you've done, and you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, this is real. And it's not about your skin color, all right? It's about our nationality, okay? Point blank, period. Going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Based on the lineage of our fathers, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans. Point blank, period. So skin color has nothing to do with the bloodline, okay? Ridiculous. Pretty much the Hebrew Israelite doctrine teaches that, that if you're not of Israel, if you're not a Jew, Salvation is not towards you. And, I'll and that's literal. Case in point. John 4 and 22. And guess what? These letters. Okay, these um, letters are in red. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. All right. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking. Okay. Again, John 4 and 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Matthew 1 and 21, and she shall bring forth a son, she, referring to Mary, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall for he shall save his people from their sins, the house of Israel. Okay, point blank period. I was explaining to the guy, I said, look, you might need to read the book of Acts. The book of Acts is the foundation of the, f the fact of after Jesus Christ dying. And if you remember reading the book of Acts, notice that Peter, God, Jesus, Jesus told Peter that what I call clean, let no man call it unclean or uncommon. So Peter had a hard time accepting this because he was taught as, you know, as a Jew you know, you don't let outsiders come in. You don't eat what the others eat. No, no, no. If we were to go into that account, Peter was not being spiritual, all right? He actually thought, okay, it was referring to food. This vision was referring to food, and it wasn't, okay? Yahweh was breaking down to Peter that it was time to deliver the message, all right? the truth to Israelite foreigners who have or who had been discontinued from their heritage, all right, became lost sheep, all right, point blank period. It was symbolic, okay? And he stated, let's read or someone or one should read the book of Acts. Let's go to, let's go to the book of it's like I'm getting excited. Let's go to the book of Acts. And this is um, Acts 1 and 7. When they therefore were come together, all right, and this is after Yahweh Shai, okay, was resurrected. When they therefore were come together, who? The disciples. They asked of him, saying, Lord, Will you at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? You can't get around that. Okay? Let's go to Acts 
the second chapter. Verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. All right. And this is referring to the Holy Spirit. And it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. Meaning what? Being able to convey the word in various languages. All right. As the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem. Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Okay? Let's read that again. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Meaning what? And this happened because of that scattering. Okay? This word is only for the house of Israel. Salvation is only for the house of Israel. Point blank period. Now, this same word would judge two-thirds of our people as well as Edom and these other nations. All right? So judgment by this word will be upon Edom and the other nations and two-thirds of our people. And salvation will be for the elect of Israel only. Acts 5 and 31. Let's start at verse 28. Saying, did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in the name? You see the significance of the names. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine. Doctrine means what? Teachings. Okay? And attend... To bring this man's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. My man, and this is all coming from the book of Acts. Acts chapter 13 and verse 16. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear the Most High, give audience, meaning pay attention. The Most High of this people of Israel chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt. And with an high arm brought he them out of it, and that high arm was Yahweh Shai. And about the time of 40 years suffered he their manners in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he divided their land to them by lot. And after that, he gave unto them judges about the space of 450 years until Samuel the prophet. And afterward, they desired a king, and the Mosai gave unto them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, 
to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed have the Most High, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Yahweh Shah. When John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. So what the fuck is he talking about? Okay. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 29, Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures. Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High. Lord will, you were edified, shalom.